All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game between Life versus Lin taking place here on Last Refuge. Life has spawned as the red Night Elf player over here on the bottom left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have Lin spawning as the blue orc. Orc versus Night Elf in this 1v1 matchup, and I am expecting to see a Keeper of the Grove. But I'm really looking forward to how players are going to be adapting and changing to this Keeper of the Grove strategy. Blizzard has already made a number of changes that have finally made their way, excuse me, to the NetEase servers. And with that said, with a limit on the NetEase servers now, what can we expect to see? Back down over here, Ancient of War is about 50% of the way being built. But the, the limit on the casting range of that Keeper of the Grove really helps out in limiting how often you have to worry about the trees behind you all of a sudden turning into walking units that are damaging your back line. You know, limiting the range of that uh, Force of Nature cast is very, very helpful. And we're also going to see whether or not we're going to have a large amount of Spirit Walkers for, say, Disenchant. Purge has also become very, very popular because shamans are able to easily shut those particular units down. You can also purge out your own unit. If it is entangled, uh, it does end up being slowed just a little bit, but it's still able to attack and move and do other things. Keeper of the Grove currently about two thirds of the way making its way out. Archer is going to pop on out, fire an arrow, and then, well, just like the little brother, uh, on your street who has a big brother does something annoying and then lets his big brother well do all of the fighting back that but cross over here off to the north blade master will be making its way out we do not see a barracks that does come as a bit of a surprise to me since normally the blade master wants one grunt early on instead we're going to see a very fast tech to tier two and this may actually catch life off guard life once he sees that blade master may be suspecting that his opponent has gone for um a a, a, a barracks and then followed by some other units um, uh, then followed by the tech to tier two instead what he's going to see the keeper of the grove now making its way forward blade master going to get in some damage here but the keeper of the grove just going to be wandering straight on up keeper of the grove is it going to perhaps try and yes use those forces of nature to deal a bit of damage keeper of the grove still seeing at level one Orc peons can easily jump inside here. And what is going to end up happening? That is really the big question. Big damage once more as the, well, the force of nature is trying to make its way through. May end up getting taken down. There it goes one. Another one could get taken down as well, buying a little bit of experience. Meanwhile, the Keeper of the Grove, now low on mana, does have a circuit of nobility, but trying to, its best to clear out a creep camp that is actually rather difficult by himself. Blade Master now going to wander around, go after this 333 creep camp, thereby not going after this Keeper of the Grove. The forces of nature are ending, are starting to fall, and this could be a downside here. Life may have bitten off more than he can chew as he finally gets to level 2, as there is now a Force Troll High Priest joining in on the fight. Force Troll High Priest cast a bunch of inner fire, lots of mana lost. And unless the Keeper of the Grove engages against those creep camps, the Blade Master is probably, probably going to be the one that benefits from the opponent not having as much, or the creeps not having as much mana. Back off to the north though, Keeper of the Grove now clearing out this, the remainder of the 3-3 three, three creep camp. Cramp. Meanwhile, Blade Master with a circlet of nobility, gloves of haste, and plenty of items is making its way over here to the left. All right, Blade Master desperately looking for where that Keeper of the Grove could be hiding. Tree of Life about two-thirds of the way done. Meanwhile, Great Hall about to be completed here in just a moment. And, well, there it is into Stronghold. Grunts are finally making their way out. We should be looking at Shadow Hunters, no, um, Shadow Hunters or Shaman. It looks like it will be Shaman here as the Blade Master still has not done that much to try and uh, figure out where his opponent is. Now, on the flip side here, accidentally aggros creeps while the Keeper of the Grove finds him. A little bit of an unlucky step by Lin. There it goes, a quick entangle. Blade Master, however... 
getting stalled up for just a little bit may try to go after that keeper of the grove or some of those archers as well no boots of speed though is the keeper of the grove gonna buy boots of speed let's take a look as the well the keeper of the grove now currently out and about gonna take a little bit more damage swipe 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 before that keeper of the grove backs away keeper of the grove quickly healing back up sitting at level two we are looking at a ancient of war here ready to go ready to uproot itself and absorb a whole bunch of damage at the mercenary camps meanwhile blade master healing salve and clarity potion where is it gonna try and go next we can take a look ancient of lore gonna be taking a large bit of damage there it goes quick cancellation we are also going into a tauren chieftain instead of a shadow hunter so tauren chieftain over a shadow hunter perhaps a stomp and or shockwave to really damage that back line blade master I'm um, going to be benefiting from Endurance Aura eventually as the Torrent Chieftain does get Endurance Aura first. Blade Master still wandering around here though, wondering what it can possibly take out. Back off to the north, this 533 Creep Camp will get taken out very quickly. Blade Master going to go ahead and be healed back up. We still do not see a Goblin Alchemist as of yet. No, it's going to be a Demon Hunter as the second hero from Night Elf. Now, the Demon Hunter is a very strong hero, but normally, or in the current meta, it is normally followed up by that Goblin Alchemist. The Alchemist able to deal so much damage with those Acid Bombs, removing armor, focus fire being that much more effective. It also has a large amount of hit points and is able to heal. Blade Master going to be forced to retreat once more. Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 2, going to easily finish off the remainder of this creep camp here. Gets to, um, gets to level 2, should be able to get Stomp and or Shockwave as Shaman are in the backfield just getting in a little bit of extra damage as well. Shamans do have Purge, I believe, out of the gate. Should be able to get Lightning Shield as well. It's either Purge or Lightning Shield as that first ability. Obviously not Bloodlust. Alright, Torrent Chieftain making its way over. This Torrent Chieftain aggroing some creeps. What is going on here? We are looking at the Great Hall. I'm gonna go ahead and be built. Perhaps the Blade Master is gonna try to finish off this Four Straw High Priest before the remaining units make their way back over. They are now finally making their way back over as the Four Straw High Priest is taking a lot of damage. However, now let's take a look back across over here. Shamans, are they gonna try and purge? No, no purge. Keeper of the Grove finishes off one, or perhaps that was a creep that finished it off there. As we now see an entangle on to the grunt grunt could try and break free here in just a moment there is a a purge right there grunt now trying to run back here big stomp going across multiple units low hit point grunt should end up getting finished off by that keeper of the grove there it goes no denial as the shaman could perhaps try and get a couple of purges off onto one of those remaining units keeper of the grove unable to attack the peon that's currently building this great hall as more dryads are now making their way out dryads going to be forced to retreat once more what is going on here shaman having a little bit of trouble dryads are just going to be able to poke their way through and down goes another shaman for life torrent chieftain comes in with the stomp blade master going to go ahead and just wind walk away try to live and fight another day able to finish off some of those units here as the four show berserker now giving chase uh blade master seeing that level two lots of damage being absorbed by the orc units a quick cancellation there as the peon who has seen better days will get taken out lin is in serious trouble life in the driver's seat of this game with a 13 supply advantage leaving behind a manual of health though so we'll see if that does come back to haunt him we are only at stronghold we are not at tier 3 and i'm really wondering where all of the gold is going what is lin spending his gold on a 12 supply discrepancy and it looks as though a tree of ages we are getting dual ancients of lore i don't know how much gold but 400 gold currently sitting in the bank but there's nothing really to explain the nine supply difference between these two armies blade master gonna go ahead and continue to fight plus eight attack ogre mauler will get taken down here grunt taking a lot of damage shamans in the backfield as well with that magic damage trying to do a little bit more bonus damage here let's take a look also a healing salve onto the grunt 43 supply compared to 40 let's take a look tree of ages now taking the tier three as the gold is being spent up on both sides 
All right, 44 over 50 supply now. Demolishers getting added in. Is this going to be enough to really fight back against all of this here? Blade Master gets the kill there, gets up to level 3, picks up a potion of greater mana. As the Demon Hunter, well, does have a potion of lesser invulnerability and is already at level 3 as well. So it is a 3 3 combination going up against, I believe, a 3 3. Level 3 Blade Master, Torrent Chieftain, often also at level 3 with plenty of healing for the Orc army. Between. Um, between the healing salves, health stones, uh, that is a lot of damage that is easily mitigated. Meanwhile, the Blade Master now trying to make its way down to see if there is an expansion here at this 533 creep camp. Both sides not establishing expansions yet. Keeper of the Grove still wandering around. Also, Demon Hunter in that front position. Keeper of the Grove finally gets the level 4. Meanwhile, back down to the south. Blade Master and the Torrent Chieftain clear out some easy creep camps again. Oh, there goes a Wisp. Wisps walks into an army of Orc and gets taken out pretty much immediately. A follow-up Demolisher has been also added into this mix. And you're going to take a look. Demolisher, Shaman, Forest Troll, Berserker, Grunt, all of these units here ready to go. And this potentially could be very, very big. All of a sudden, all of that damage looks very strong as the Ancient of Lore is going to get taken down. Ancient of Wonders is also going to get followed up here. Scroll of Town Portal finally being used. Shaman are all here ready to go. And are the Demolisher just going to be able to fight over this spot here? This is, in fact, a very big deal. There's a stomp. Keeper of the Grove in that front line position, but you are fighting next to a whole bunch of Moonwells as the Demolishers are just splatting down so much damage. All right, there goes some more damage again. Demolishers are just um, living up to their name, dealing so much damage. Purge onto a Druid of the Claw to try and stop them in its tracks. We are at Adept Training, Rejuvenation. Blade Master could get taken down. Blade Master picks up the Health Stone from the uh, Torrent Chieftain. A big stomp right there again as damage still raining on in. Three Demolishers just pushing through. There goes another group of units. Are we going to see another stomp? Let's see. There goes another unit there. Are we going to perhaps see the death of the Demon Hunter, Keeper of the Grove? Oh, Keeper of the Grove able to save the... Save that poor demon hunter. Meanwhile, the Torrent Chieftain does get taken down. All right, Scroll of Speed now being used. All of the units are trying to run away. And will they be able to do exactly that? What are the Shaman doing? The Shaman should be retreating back as well as the, as the Peons could perhaps be trying to get in a couple of repairs. All right, if you re are retreating, you are generally losing in the game of Warcraft. As the Torrent Chieftain now with Endurance Aura tries to move all of these units slightly faster. Torin Chieftain pretty much out of mana. It did use a potion of greater mana earlier. He probably wishes that he could hold back that decision once more. Meanwhile, low hit point Grunt. Not quite sure why though. There's the healing salve. As we could be looking at perhaps Scroll of Protection and or Scroll of Healing for all of these units here in just a moment. 50 supply compared to 38. Triple Demolishers is a very scary thing. Meanwhile, we could be looking at a, perhaps a Purge, yes, onto the Demon Hunter to stop the Rejuvenation. Grunt has taken a fair bit of damage as well. No more healing salves to be brought over. There is one Ancient of War off to the north just to do a little bit of scouting as the Ancient of Wonders is in trouble. All right, Shaman, Demolishers, where are they going? Demolishers are dealing damage, but not very much. But they are taking down Moonwells as well. 50 supply over 60 compared to, uh, well, the, the Night Elf who has to be perhaps, wow, of 40 or below 30 maximum supply now. Demon Hunter continuing to fight its way through. Is it going to get taken out? Yes, it does. Critical Strike living up to its name, not being able to use that potion of healing in time, but a number of low hit point grunts could get taken down as well. Blade Master continuing the fight here. Demolisher, um, while well, trying to finish off all of these units, that poor, poor Druid of the Glaw does attack at full speed, even though it does move slightly slower because of that purge, and this may be the death of it. Torn Chieftain, is it going to have enough for a stomp? More damage just raining down onto the Ancient of Wonders instead. Shaman should be really focusing down onto the onto this Druid of the Claw instead. There is a big stomp squishing that bear with his foot, so to speak, as the Torrent Chieftain now looks to back up. Blade Master now looking to retreat again. It looks as though there goes another unit. Keeper of the Grove now sitting at level 5. Demolishers are, well, getting absolutely destroyed. Are we going to see a Goblin Zeppelin pick up any units? There is the Goblin Zeppelin. There, oh, picks up. No, doesn't pick up anything. This is Red. This is Life's um, Goblin Zeppelin. As we are looking at a number of Demolishers that could end up getting taken down. Beautiful, beautiful use 
as the Keeper of the Grove does catch up and finishes off one of those Demolishers. Meanwhile, back off to the north. Blademaster, Shaman here, ready to go. Are we going to see more damage? No, we are not. The more damage onto those Demolishers here. What's going to end up happening? Blademaster could try and take down this one Keeper of the Grove. There are two bears here as well. There's an Entangle onto the Blademaster. Blademaster quickly purges that off as all the units are running back. 45 supply compared to 28. Not quite sure still what is going on in this game here. Who is going to come out on top? That is the question as the Keeper of the Grove now going to go ahead and engage once more. 45 supply for the Orc Army. It looks as though they'll be able to finish off some or try to finish off some units with some good Zeppelin Micro coming across from um, life to save multiple units. There is also a big stomp right there stunning all of these units. Keeper of the Grove being forced to hide inside the Goblin Zeppelin. Meanwhile, all of these Force of Natures could just get taken down here in just a moment. Demolisher is still looking to finish off some of these buildings. Wisp off of the gold mine line or off the tree line to try and save here. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove um, with that. No, Keeper of the Grove no longer there. No longer in the Zeppelin. Where it? Where is it? It is back down across here, almost finishing off one critical moon well that was fairly full. 40 supply currently here, ready to go. Demolishers are all here. We're going to see some detonations. Shaman's going to try and fight back against those Druids of the Claw. Demolishers getting detonated, but doesn't really matter. There's a scroll of healing as the Shamans are trying to back up again. This poor Shaman doesn't know that he should be running as we take a look at all of the units just running back and forth. All right, Blade Master looking to finish off more units again. The um, Shamans do have magic damage. They do deal good, good damage against those Druids of the Claw if they are in a good spot. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove. Where is it? Still fighting in the back here. Not yet at level 6. Demolisher, I believe another one was taken down here as the Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 5. Alright, Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 5. Is it going to be able to get taken down? No. Gets picked up by the Zeppelin as the Demolishers are just being microed like a madman to try and maximize their effectiveness. The forces of nature are now trying to pull back here as another bear gets taken down. 46 supply compared to 22. And I believe this is the beginning of the end. Lin should not have enough gas in the tank to really fight back. But the Keeper of the Grove is about to fall down to 50, down to 23 hit points, down to 15. And endurance aura. Um, and well, the fact that... Uh, you cannot die to damage over time effects such as poisons keeps this one Torrent Chieftain alive. All right, no mana burn. Uh, the Demon Hunter does not have enough mana right here. Are we going to perhaps see a... Uh, well, there is a little bit right there. Let Blade Master going to go ahead and engage. Potion of Healing. Everyone, both sides fighting at the edge of a blade, edge of a sword, as the Keeper of the Grove may try to dive after that Torrent Chieftain. But those units are all just going to be going back again. Blade Master, sub 100 hit points. Torrent Chieftain, also sub 100 hit points. Keeper of the Grove, however, unfortunate enough, was not able to save that Demon Hunter. Maybe forced to resurrect him the old fashioned way. As he does have rejuvenation. All right. Going to go ahead and try and clear out this creep camp. Level 5, Keeper of the Grove. Level 4, Demon Hunter. Bears are out here on the field. A pick purge onto the Goblin Zeppelin. And the Goblin Zeppelin's purge really slows things up. There's another purge. Is it going to end up getting taken down? One or two more shots. There it goes. Shamans with purge able to do their job and stop a unit long enough in order to finish it off. All right. Lots of bears here ready to go. 48 supply compared to 30. How did life lose that advantage? Um, difficult to say. Poor execution or perhaps just very, very strong unit choices coming in from Lin here. As Lin's going to be able to easily take down this Ancient of War. Ancient of War now down. The units are still pushing on through. Not very much left here. Trying to use Nightfall. Trying to fight under the cover of the moon. But it's not going to be enough as we see, well, Mirror Image being used by... Um, by Lin. All right, Staff of Preservation saves a unit. Demon Hunter still going after all of these units here. Demolishers can just start raining down damage here in just a moment. This poor, poor Druid of the Claw is going to figure out, you know what, I really don't like taking magic damage. Is about to get finished off right there. There it goes. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter down to 110 hit points could end up getting taken down, but it feels like forever and a day for that Ankh of Reincarnation to actually trigger its effect. There it goes. It is still currently not ready. There it is. Back up and running. As the Blade Master looks to back up. Alright. 
another Druid of the Claw now finish off Torrent Chieftain, continuing this pressure, moving on forward. Big stomp. There goes the Keeper of the Grove, and that should pretty much be the game. Lin taking out life here on Last Refuge. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.